breaking news. There's going to be another all-electric, all-new pickup truck, and it's called Nikola Badger. Hear this. In this video, I'm going to share all of the images we currently have, all the renderings, and all of the specifications provided by Nikola. And let's hit it right off the bat with some of the design and styling that we can see here in these renderings. When at first I saw these images, I had an image of a Ford Raptor racing through the desert because this crew cab truck that they have right here has that feeling to me. But it has many, many unique design features, it has a very unique grille, it has a wide stance, and it has a squared off wheel well design similar to a Sierra GMC heavy duty truck and the C-pillar by the rear door that looks a little bit like a Rivian R1T pickup. But if you look at it overall, especially from the rear shot, and of course the interior images that we have, it has its own flair. And here's some of the specifications that Nikola shared. Let's start with the power numbers. Nikola says the peak horsepower number is 906 horsepower and continuous horsepower is rated at 455. This is pretty interesting because some of the other manufacturers like Rivian or Tesla don't list continuous horsepower numbers from the electric motors. They usually go for those peak numbers, but 906 peak horsepower sounds very competitive, especially when you consider the recent announcement by GMC Hummer all-electric truck as well that's listed at 1,000 horsepower. Peak torque is listed at 980 pound-feet. This is also interesting because companies like Rivian and GMC Hummer are listing wheel torque, so multiplied torque according to the gearing, and Nikola does not appear to be doing that. Next up, driving range, which is the most important quality for a pickup truck of any kind. And there's going to be two versions according to Nikola all-electric battery-powered truck with a range of 300 total miles. Okay, that's pretty competitive, but may not be enough if you're towing something. So Nikola has a second version here, which is fuel cell in addition to the battery. So they're saying total driving range of 600 miles when you consider a hydrogen-powered fuel cell combination combined with a battery. So 600 miles is very, very good, very competitive, and currently would be best in class when you compare it to what we know from Tesla, Rivian, and some others. And Nikola Motor Company has been around for several years. At first, they had several concepts of semi-trucks, including fuel cell-powered ones. Uh, so they have a lot of expertise in this area, although their heavy-duty truck, their semi-trucks are not in production yet. They're slated to be in production in 2022. And this Nikola Badger truck is also slated for production in a similar time frame. Although Nikola did say that we will see a production prototype of the truck in September of this year, 2020, at their Nikola World event that they hold every year for the last couple of years in Arizona. So this is gonna be very interesting to see the truck in person this year in September, which is coming up in a few months. They also listed the maximum towing capacity for this Badger truck at 8,000 pounds, which doesn't sound like a lot by today's half-ton standards, but if you look at an off-road truck like the Ford Raptor, 8,000 pounds is basically what a crew cab Raptor can tow as well. So that's a pretty interesting number. And of course, when you load up an electric truck with a heavy weight trailer, uh, we found out that in first person when we tested our Tesla Model X, that the range goes down dramatically when you load it with heavy weights. And for drivetrain, Nicola says, independent wheel drive or IWD, 4x4. Four four. What does that mean exactly? We don't know yet. Is it going to be one, two, three, or four motors, or a combination of some motor configurations, maybe in-hub and also inboard? We don't know quite yet. But the dimensions of this truck seem to match kind of a current half-ton truck or a heavy-duty three-quarter ton truck size overall. Nikola did not announce pricing information, but they did share a couple of interior images as well, and you've been looking at them for some time now. But as you can see here, it's a very unique interior, uh, but traditional-looking interior with 
a drive gear selector in the center console, and of course, gigantic screens, and also auxiliary switches near the top of the ceiling, very similar to a Ford Super Duty or Ford Raptor truck. So I think they're trying to combine a lot of the elements that currently work in production for other manufacturers and putting them all together using their own expertise in fuel cell technology and battery powered electric motors and making this Badger truck to compete against all the rest of them, including Ford and General Motors, of course. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com for news, use, and real-world reviews of all types of trucks.